Let's talk about optics. Um, I used to make LEDs and LEDs come in various packages, but uh, one of the packages is just a uh, substrate and the LED is uh, put on the substrate. And the LED is made out of material that has a very high index of refraction. And uh, what that means is um, the light likes to get trapped inside of it. It's hard to get the light out um, going from a high index to a low index, going from something like gallium nitride, which has an index of refraction of something like three into air, which is an index of one, is hard to do. So you want to uh, coax the photons out. And so what they do is they, they put a blob of uh, epoxy over the LED that has an index of 1.5. So you're going from uh, 3 to 1.5 to 1. So there's an intermediary step, and that helps get the light out. But anyway, that's why you see LEDs in a round hemispherical um, shape. It's helped to get the light out. But that means that the light's going to go out in all directions. And if you're building something like a flashlight, you want the light to only go one direction. And so um, there's various ways of doing uh, that. Um, you could um, do it like the old days. I'm going to save this drawing. Um, you can do it like the old days when there was a, um, a, light, a light bulb. And then uh, you put a reflector around it. So the old flashlights had these plastic reflectors that were aluminized or actual aluminum reflector. And the light, the light kind of hits these walls and bounces out, right? And so the light kind of goes that way and you, you, you get the light to go that way. And so that's, that's a good thing to do. Uh, another thing that you could do uh, that you probably never saw in flashlights was to actually have a lens. So let's say you actually have a lens here. And it's made out of glass or plastic. And when the light comes out, it gets bent by the, uh, by the glass depending on the radius and index of refraction and stuff. So that's the way a, uh, a lens would work. So um, if you look at this example, then the reflector works for rays up to this angle, but they don't work on any rays on that angle. So they just fly out of there. And if you look at this example, the lens only works with, with rays of this angle. So, um, and all the rays that are outside of that don't get used. So wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be great to combine the two? Um, you could have this use the, use in the middle rays and then this used in the far rays, right? So we have, we have all of this that we can use here and we have all of this that we can use here and that kind of fits that kind of fits in here. So uh, wouldn't that be a great idea? Well, somebody invented that and uh, you'll hear it call several names. Um, you'll hear it called a TIR lens, TIR, which stands for total internal reflection. And I'll describe that. Or you'll call it a, uh, a tulip lens because it kind of looks like a tulip. So let me show you what that one looks like. So I'm going to, I'm going to start with this drawing because I already made it. So let's say that I, I want to do the middle rays. Well, let's, we'll start with the outside rays first. So we'll put in some kind of reflector here. Okay. And so that'll take care of those rays. But in the middle, I want to put a lens. So I'm going to put a lens here right. and I'm going to make this out of plastic and I'm going to actually, um, oh, I drew this the wrong way. I do this all the time. 
So let me start over. <laughs> let me start over. Forget that one. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with an LED. How to redraw it anyway. Okay, we're going to start out with our LED. And we're going to start with... We're going to start with our reflector. All right. And then here, I want to have a, a lens, okay? And normally I would put in the top of the lens like I did, like I did here, but I'm going to save that for a bit. And I'm going to make this thing out of plastic. And I'm going to mold this thing out of, uh, out of, uh, one piece of plastic, okay? So it kind of looks like a tulip. And uh, the top can be different shapes, but just for, just for today, we're gonna, we're gonna say it looks like this, okay? So what happens, what happens here? Well, the middle rays, they're gonna come up and they're gonna see this here and they're gonna bend and they're gonna come straight out. And then these side rays are gonna hit the side and they're gonna bend and they're gonna come out. All right, so you get both things. You get this little bend here and this here. Okay, so this works as a normal lens. And this, um, instead of alum putting an aluminum coating on this thing, they're gonna use something called TIR. Now, TIR is funny. If you're inside the plastic and you hit this interface, uh, you would think the ray would just continue out, uh, but it doesn't. Um, it bends back in, and there's particular angles that happens at and, and other angles that, it, that that doesn't happen at. And so you have to design this thing with all those angles in mind. Now, this internal, total internal reflection is a very strange property in physics. If you have a ray that strikes a, uh, a mirror, uh, not 100% of the light gets reflected. Some of that light will actually get absorbed in the metal and, and die. So maybe 92% maybe of the light will, uh, will actually reflect and you'll actually lose some percentage of the light here at this metal boundary. Um, but here, in this total internal reflection, the ENM wave comes in, and it's in one medium, and it sees this interface. And the ENM wave actually travels outside into the air and says, "Whoa, there's no place for me to go. I don't like it out here." And it actually sucks back in, and continues on its way. And this little funny little excursion when it goes outside and then pulls back in is called the effervescence wave. Uh, you can look that up. But the effervescence wave actually pokes out of the, um, of the medium here just a little bit and then sucks back in again because it doesn't see a good um, impedance match, really. It, it's, it's all, all the stuff is related, optics and electronics, it's all the same stuff. And... Uh, so there's this thing here. So what it means is you get 100% of the light reflected. You don't get 92%, you get 100% of the light reflected. Now, when the light goes from uh, here to here, you're gonna lose 4%. And when the light goes from here to here, you're gonna lose 4%. So it's not perfect, but you do get 100% here. Uh, so which one wins? Well, 4%, 4%. And 100%, you lose 8%. Oh, metal, uh, you lose 8%. Uh, physics physics kind of gets in the way. It's sort of the same thing on both sides. Um, but these are a whole lot cheaper to build. And uh, they work really, really good. You can also start putting structures on top of the uh, tulip lens. You can start putting maybe a Fresnel lens on top of the, uh, on top of the uh, tulip or the TIR lens and shape it a little bit more. Um, a lot of clever things like this. If you have a cell phone, stare at the little LED in your cell phone, and you'll see optics that are, that are familiar, uh, similar to this, not exactly the same, but similar to this, I've, I've designed those. Um, 
And if you look in your flashlight, uh, you'll definitely see one of these. Um, so uh, I'll show you um, a, a, a tulip lens in action. Um, and uh, yeah, be on the lookout for them. So uh, here's the tulip lens. Uh, it's uh, made out of uh, clear polycarbonate. And that's the end that the LED will go in, that little divot there on the end. And there's a little, uh, little tiny flange on the outer diameter to help you uh, hold this thing without getting in the way of the light. The uh, exit face is flat on this one. So let's, uh, let's hook it up. Here's a uh, typical LED. Uh, this is a white one. You can see the yellow phosphor there in the dome. And we're going to place the tulip lens over it. And then let's uh, turn the LED on. There we go. Now the light gets directed uh, in the up direction in this uh, video.